Hi everybody, welcome back to The Healthy Habit. Tyler here and I've got a great video in store for you today. If you're one of those people who've been stuck in an endless loop of trying to get fit each year, every year you promise yourself, this is your year, this is gonna be it. I'm gonna lose that weight, I'm gonna run that marathon, I'm gonna gain all that strength. And you start off hard for a bit, but then you fall out of it. Well, this is the video for you because I'm gonna give you eight tips that make sure this is the year that your resolutions stick, that you hit your fitness goals, and they're not only gonna carry through 2024, but they're gonna carry well on into the future. But first, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to help support us by hitting that like button, maybe subscribing and dropping a comment below, letting us know what you think of the video. Now, without any further ado, let's roll into it with your eight tips and make sure to stick around for all eight because the last one is definitely the most important. Tip number one, always have a plan over winging it. You've heard it before, you'll hear it again, but fail to plan, plan to fail. It's 100% true. So this can mean just going online and simply looking up a free generic workout program. You can download a two week program from me for free, or you can pay a professional to write a program for you. Or maybe you even just sit aside yourself for 20 to 30 minutes and write down a plan on your own. Whatever you need to do to get a plan, do it because it's 100% worth it. And without it, I can tell you, you will not reach your goals. Sorry, tough love. You won't do it without a plan. Tip number two, let's prioritize sustainability over intensity. So this can look like on a micro scale during your workouts. So don't just do endless hit sessions that you're eventually gonna fall out of love with. Practice sustainability and progressive overload and things that you can work with for a long period of time. Or when looking at your program and what you're gonna do in creating that plan, don't go from zero days a week to five days a week. Again, that's not sustainable. Build incrementally over time. Sustainability will always win. Tip number three, let's start thinking about the long term versus the short term. If you're thinking eight week transformation or where you wanna be in two weeks, things aren't gonna work out for you. They're not gonna last. On the same token, if you're missing one workout and thinking, oh, there it goes, I missed one day. That's short term thinking one day of a missed workout over the period of a year looks like absolutely nothing. It's just a small blip. So let's start thinking about this long term because at the end of the day, we want your health and wellness to be something that's going to go well into the future, not simply another six week challenge. Tip number four, let's think quality over quantity. This comes with everything. So your plan, make sure it's quality. Your movements in the gym, make sure they're quality. Think mindful movements with purpose rather than just going through and trying to tick off a box. It's gonna pay back for itself tenfold. If you go into everything thinking quality and purpose, trust me, you are gonna nail your goals. Tip number five and something I'm always banging on about, personalized versus generic. So we're always gonna prioritize our personalized plan over a generic plan. Because at the end of the day, we are all individuals. There are a million different ways to hit your fitness goals, but the only one that works is the one that's right for you. So let's make sure we personalize as much as we can to make sure your fitness journey is an absolute success. So we will apply a lot of the same general principles to everyone, but again, there are specifics that will work just for you. We all have different experiences, abilities, etc. So once again, personalized plans over generic ones every time. Tip number six, one of my favorites here, let's start thinking strong versus skinny. Aesthetic goals are fine. We all have them. We all want to look a little better naked, but at the end of the day, that's not what's going to last us a lifetime. But being strong and confident, that will. So if we're thinking just about aesthetics goals, the thing is we're always kicking uh, the ball further down the goalpost or whatever that saying is. We're never quite happy with the way we look. But if we switch our mindset, change that frame of mind, and we start thinking strong, if we feel strong and confident in our bodies mentally, as well as a physical strength, 
trust me, that aesthetic goal is gonna come more naturally. When you're in a body that you're strong and confident in, you're gonna love what it can do and the ability to move regardless of what it might look like on the outside. So you're gonna have to trust me with this one, but always think strong over skinny. Tip number seven, habits. Like the healthy habit. You want to create healthy habits. So just like brushing your teeth at the end of the day, I hope you all do that, and at the beginning of the day, we want fitness to be the same. You don't even have to think about it. You've done it so much, you've done it so often, the gym, fitness, whatever it looks like for you is just part of your lifestyle. So let's think about prioritizing habits over all or nothing mindsets, you know? So let's think about building again, incrementally, very small, building these things into our life until they are second nature, rather than thinking all or nothing, because again, that never works. Then finally, tip eight, our last and final tip, prioritize you. So remember at the end of the day, think about your why. Why are you doing this? You're not doing it for everyone else. So we're thinking prioritize you over everyone else. What is your why? And that needs to come from within, eternally, internally. And remember, let's not make it about aesthetics. Let's think of whys outside of aesthetics, why you're going to be approaching this fitness journey. Maybe it's so you can keep up with your kids or your grandkids. Maybe it's just because you want to be able to sit down and stand up well into your future. Maybe it's a competition, maybe it's a race, uh, but really think of the deep rooted reasons that are gonna keep you moving on the hardest days because at the end of the day, we cannot rely on motivation. Motivation will always fluctuate for all of us. It doesn't matter who you are. So think about your deep rooted why and that's gonna keep you going. So there you have it team, that was eight tips for you to focus on as we go into 2024 and you're setting out after your New Year's goals. If you have any questions for me or you want assistance with this, please let me know, reach out. That's what I'm here for. And once again, if you want to help support the channel, please do like and subscribe for more content. I will be dropping new stuff each week. And if you want to get in touch about personal training, visit the website in the link below. Or you can also check out our shop for some cool branded merchandise. Another way to support the brand and make sure we're able to keep on coming back to help you out each week with your fitness goals. See you on the next one.